Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be quickly generating things for you from Canva AI. So, to do Canva AI image generation, you're going to come to canva.com slash AI dash image dash generator, and here you're also going to want to make sure that you have Canva Pro, okay? So once you have Canva Pro, it says Magic Media, you're going to click on Use an Existing Design, okay? You're going to go to any project of yours, or you can obviously use it in a new design as well, so I'm going to go with Custom Size or you can uh, you know, use any recurring size that you have. Let's say I'm gonna go with Instagram story. Now over here, we're gonna wait for things to load in. And uh, once things load in for us, what we are gonna wanna do from here is we're gonna add you know, actual prompts in it. So let's say I'm gonna write um, toy car driving and actual car, you know, pretty random prompt. But uh, we're gonna, you know, click on enter, and it's gonna load us our prompts in really quickly. So you're just gonna want to go ahead and add those prompts for yourself. So let's wait for it to load in, and obviously it's gonna take a few seconds. But there you go. So now it's loaded, and look at the quality of these images. Now the main basic components of editing in CapCut are pretty simple to get your head along. So you're gonna come here, obviously choose your aspect ratio. Once you do that, you're gonna click on upload video. So once you do that, here you can see I have a video. I'm just going to paste it over here and it comes into the timeline. Now once you have it over here, you get quite a lot of tools. So here's the split tool over here where you can split different aspects of the video. Obviously choose the video before splitting. Then there's split scene where you can automatically find scenes in a video and split the video into several clips, which is basically AI related. Then you can download a certain clip if you want to. You can flip a clip horizontally if you want to so if you come here look at that this clip is flipped then you have cropping reversing and all the main components on this side and these are the editorial designing tools on the right side with audio animation speed background and all and there's elements that you can add transcriptions effects transitions filters and a whole lot more so these are the CapCut editing components and it's pretty simple to edit on this and this is how you're going to do it Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to edit a TikTok video like a pro. Let's launch the app and let's pick up the video that we want to upload today. I select this small short video from the Central Park. First thing that you want to do is you want to click on the lower arrow so you will extend the settings. Now you'll be able to see all the available functionalities and things that you can actually change on your video. Let's start with the basics. Let's start with the captions, especially if you have a video in which you want to, you know, serve a message to the people so people will be able to read and, you know, understand you much better. Uh, in our case, we do have people singing in the park. So I am going to keep the subtitles, the captions, and I'm going to edit them. I'm going to make them pop up by putting a background with white color. Then you can hold the captions with your finger and slide them to the lower end of the screen so you will have a better positioning. Second thing that it, it is very important is of course the filters. We want to make, especially when the video is taken outside, you want to make the whole footage pop out. In this our case we use the warm, so you see how the foliage at the back popped out. It's very, very nice. It's very important, especially if the video is taken outside. Another thing that uh, also is very important is that you will see that you have the option to use text. You can use text in this particular case for simply put a title so you can direct the audience what they're expecting to see or you can simply map up the location even though you do have the options later on to tag the location. Uh, in our case, we are going to use the text just simply to pinpoint where is it, what is happening on the screen, uh, because someone might be at work and not being able to actually listen or play the actual sound. Essentially, you can see there are plenty of other options on the site, but uh, you're not going to need all of them in most cases. In most cases, you're only going to need the captions, the filters, the text, and in some cases, some other functions. Next part is the sweetest part, the search engine optimization for the actual post. Let's start with the easy part. Let's map up the location. In our case, it's New York. Uh, let's start with two, three sentences. Usually this is enough. 
if you optimize for the search engine this will help you essentially to not only deliver the message but uh, find the right viewers for your video people who are actually interested in this type of content in our case we are going to use a live concert in central park uh, and also we are going to include during the weekend because this is another uh, very popular search term a lot of people are looking for things to do in the city over the weekend then of course the hashtags fyp is supposed to be the first hashtag more generic but this is what people really, uh, usually comes into the algorithm followed by of course we are having things to do in new york city which is more niche down hashtag and the last one of course is going to be weekend because this is again niching down the topic of the video and the content in the video itself basically that said last but not least you want to make sure that the cover of your video is arranged and it's attractive and it collects a lot of attention so now all we gotta do is to click on select cover something that you see on the top right corner uh, usually you wanna you wanna pop something that had a zoom in uh, footage in some case that you will actually uh, drag the curiosity into your video so people will click and see it. Uh, we we choose a, a small part of the actual background of the foliage of the park. Basically, that's it. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to edit videos on. The iphone itself very easy guys very simple you can edit your videos for absolutely free we did make a video about how you can edit your photos so you want to make sure you watch this full in that eight minute tutorial now i'm going to show you how to do something similar with your videos over here so first thing you want to do when you're at your video as you can see over here you want to go up to the edit button on the upper right corner you want to click edit so now our editing process begins over here first thing first you want to adjust the length of the video itself as you can see over here you can move it left right you can extend or reduce the duration of the video so this is very important and this is uh, like i said the very beginning because you want to make sure that you're aware of the actual contrast and the whole information on the upper left corner you will see that we actually muted the video so it will not miss uh, we actually muted this video simply because we don't want to mix the voices and the sound from the video and me speaking to you guys but you can actually unmute if you click over here as you saw we have two options on and off on the lower side of the screen guys you will have the option to adjust the actual video the second function over here now with the adjustments we are going to proceed with the very very basic first automatic adjustments this is the function where people are clicking and selecting when they are not willing to do the job individually they're not willing to go through different elements they're simply clicking this and they move on in our example we're not going to utilize this and we're going to keep it at zero we're going to proceed with individual edits the first one of which is the actual exposure exposure is what sometimes uh, appears to be when you took uh, a very bright elements in the dark room or in the dark background the exposure will help you again to reduce the difference between the both objects the background and the in the focus image so it will make it smoother otherwise if it was like this it will be very hard for you to see it but now with the exposure we can kind of mute both and and make them to align the second option is the highlights this is where you are going to see how particular elements of the image are becoming alive and becoming much more natural if you look at over here how the car is getting much more alive much more like a movie vibe more vintage vintage look versus the, the regular street image the next option is the shadows shadows are helping you to reduce any brightness or any distraction around the image 
So for example, if I want to have all the focus around the object next to the car, I'm going to increase the actual shadow and now the focus will be on the car and on the person next to the car. If I want to do the opposite and have a general focus not on particular image or object, I'm gonna reduce the actual gap and this is what is going to happen. Now everything is in focus. The next option is the contrast. This is where the colorful items will pop and everything else will become muted. As you see the shadow, you see how the shadow of the car is moving, the shadow of the person is moving and is getting darker and darker. The next one is the brightness. This is where a lot of people are actually not doing a good job. The brightness helps you only when you have a picture that is taken during the nighttime without a flashlight. In any other scenario, brightness simply could uh, make a small details from the image to disappear and we don't want that. So be very careful with the brightness. The next one is the black point. I like this one because this simply could reduce the glare sometimes look at the the reflections of the car right look at the, the 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 reflections of the person next to the car now when we increase the black point this reflection simply disappears reduces the glare and makes things much clearer the next one is the saturation this simply boosts the colors so if there is something that is black and white it's not going to make any difference on the image but anything colorful will pop just watch the car. The car is red, right? See how the car turned into burgundy. You see how the shoes, the brown shoes turn very, very colorful. And everything that was black remained black. Everything that was white remained white. The next one is the vibrance. This is same as saturation, just a slightly lighter version. If I move around, you're not going to see as crazy uh, colors. You're going to see much sharper outlook of the video itself, but not gonna be crazy. The next one is the warmth. This is very useful uh, considering taking pictures outdoor or taking pictures of uh, flowers or gardens, because sometimes you might take a picture of, you know, foliage and, and there might not be a sun. And you cannot take a nice, you know, warm autumn picture with a lot of colors if there is no sun. But if you have this function, you can simply increase the warmth and everything will get to its place. The colors will pop, uh, even the, the dark sky will, will get a little warmer. The last options are the tint function. This is simply changing the tone of the colors. For example, the burgundy will change into a different color. If we use the tint, now it, it gets a little greenish, right? It can go all the way to the yellow palette. Not so useful in my opinion, guys. The next one is the sharpness. This is where you can actually turn your image into a caricature. So if we increase this one, you will see that this is like an old vintage, like a comics uh, hero, right? I think it's cool. The next one is the definition. So this is actually smooth. All the caricature effects makes it uh, again smooth, not so sharp, not so, uh, you know, pointy. I like it. it, it definitely smooths the image and the overall picture. The next one, of course, will be the noise reduction. If you have any spots that are uh, losing, that are making uh, the picture looks not high quality, this is where you're gonna reduce this by simply utilizing the noise reduction. Last one is the vinaigrette. Well, this is again, not so useful. This brings, I would say, very, very, very small details sometimes to pop, but not always. Essentially, guys, this is everything that you need to know when you're editing your videos on your iPhone. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more. Hi, guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you easy and simple way that you can edit viral Instagram Reel videos, okay? You're going to do it inside the Instagram you're not gonna need any third-party software or app very easy very simple let's launch the instagram app first now guys let's create a brand new post click on the lower center of the screen hit the plus sign now let's try to slide on the side from post to reels In this example over here, guys, I'm going to use 
this image over here and we're going to create reels out of it okay so the first thing i want you to pay very close attention is to the upper settings so first of all if you click on the first one you will be able to download the actual reel in this particular setting before you edit anything the second one is essentially if you want to add the music the music sounds are over here you can essentially pick from what is currently trending and you can actually search by the title so if i go back there is a search bar on top you can search for an artist or you can search for an actual uh, title of a song you can include voiceovers you can import music over here uh, from your device right so plenty of options over here guys the next thing is that if you want to you know create a particular filter on top of it you can simply utilize some of these that will change the way how your content looks like not to hype about it this is usually for people who are you know more creative and they don't have like a straightforward content the next option is if you want to include a particular sticker in our case you can include uh, functions like captions you can include links you can include some of this stuff or you can simply come over here and look for whatever you want to upload if there is like a birthday celebration or something you can always do it but remember everything has to align with the overall idea right if the guy who is driving the car is 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 having a birthday right you can put it over here or you can put it over here when you're finishing with the overall simple editing we want to click next then guys you want to create your metadata meaning you need to create a title which in our case will be simple uh ferrari monza test drive okay then you want to come down over here probably a lot of you wonder why i didn't use hashtags if you look at the most recent updates from the instagram algorithm the most viral uh, post didn't carry any hashtags and also pay attention to the promoted content on the platform even the promotion ads didn't have hashtags on their own post so pay very close attention the other people know something that you don't now i'm going to click on tag people in our case i'm going to add tag with the actual brand which is a ferrari right and then we're going to proceed to including uh, audience our audience is everyone simply because we want to generate more traffic uh, you can play with the topics you can select a topic for example it could be cars car enthusiasts uh, sports it can be uh, you know transportation you know sports cars don't make it too niche down okay one two categories i think will work the best next you want to include the location we are in malibu in this particular picture right uh and i think that's basically all it guys hit next and proceed with publishing guys this is how simple it is to edit your reels inside the instagram app you don't need CapCut, you don't need any complicated software everything is right over here guys for more videos like this subscribe and like this video mango animate whiteboard tutorial hello everyone welcome back to another video i hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can use mango animate which is a pretty powerful animation video maker and create one of the best whiteboard animations so what you're going to do is you're going to come over to mangoanimate.com from here you're going to click on learn more on mango wm so here it is whiteboard animation video maker so what you're going to do is you're going to buy this product and it says attract engage and explain stunning whiteboard videos created with mango wm it has pre-built templates it has lively animations free media library large selection of hand types powerful voiceovers and a whole lot more then you get all these highlighted features as well where it's easy to use full multi-timeline editing caption and audio features lively 3d characters share to everywhere and easy output options so how it works is what you're going to do is you're going to pick an object to get started which is basically a blank whiteboard you're going to edit your backgrounds animations captions effects etc and then you have export and share where you can export your videos and share them around and it's pretty easy to use this as you can clearly see, a really good and rough idea of how this stuff works. And yeah, that's the basic idea and basic concept of how we're going to work with this.
So that's basically about it when it comes to Mango's whiteboard. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all of you next time. Goodbye. Clipchamp tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about Clipchamp and how you can use this absolutely incredible software for your video editing. So Clipchamp is a new software that was released by the people at Microsoft, okay? And uh, this is a software that allows you to get one of the best styles of uh, video editing out there. Now to start things off, you're gonna go to clipchamp.com and you're gonna go on try for free to create an account. And it's obviously a part of Microsoft, so you can actually get it from the Microsoft store, okay? Now once you go over there, it says quick and easy video editor, try for free, smart tools that help you create content. You have auto captioning where you can automatically create accurate captions in over 140 languages with their speech to text technology. And you can convert it into readable caption in absolute minutes. Then you have text to speech where you can convert any type of text into any speech, you know, it's like an AI speaking, which is pretty incredible. You can resize your videos in the easiest way. And obviously the video editor gives you a lot of things to work with, you know, create a video in your own way. You can bring your videos to live. You can enhance and elevate all your videos and video editing in Clipchamp is absolutely for everyone. So for sure, I would definitely urge you users out there to create videos with Clipchamp and everything will go your way. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye. Clipchamp video editing tips. Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be quickly showing you Clipchamp and all the video editing tips and tricks that you need. Now, Clipchamp is uh, basically a new software that was introduced by Microsoft. Okay. And uh, what Clipchamp does for you is, you know, it makes video editing a whole lot easier. So there's a lot of editing tips that you can gain from Clipchamp. Okay. There's a lot of tips and tricks that you can get. So to start things off, first of all, you're gonna install Clipchamp. So once you install Clipchamp, you can install it from their main uh, website or you can install it from your Microsoft store. Now from there, what you're gonna wanna do is first of all, you have text-to-speech, okay? So text-to-speech is one of the best features in my opinion, okay? It gives you any type of uh, text, okay? And you can turn it into speech. You, you can write anything like, hi, my name is John. And it's going to get into speech. Then there's auto captions where if a person is saying something, which is basically speech to text. OK, so whatever the person is saying, the captions are going to appear. Then you can resize a video like you can make a video big, make a video small without making it blurred. You have a speaker coach and you can actually transform your videos with actual elements that you get. And if you get it for free, there's unlimited video creation with no watermark. And the video editing is for everyone, okay? You can create it perfectly for creators. It's helpful for businesses and essential for all you educators out there. So that's the basic idea of Clipchamp. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.